Hello everyone and welcome to week 7 of the RCF where we are taking on the Pennsylvania Pincers I believe aka the Shady Past and honestly last week was a really rough week for your boy he did take an L unfortunately but we are gonna try out something new this week you know something that I did not do last week which was rely on my gut which was Probably my strongest strength, I gotta say, I learned over the past 10 plus battles I've had. So, I believe in my gut. My gut was telling me to bring this team, and I'm gonna go with it and try a little bit of different strategies. It might cost me the L, but I wanna see where that takes me. This little small strategy. It's nothing with gaming mechanics or anything. But anyways, without further ado, uh, let's get this battle started because I feel like all my intros are very freaking long. So, this is the squad we're bringing in. So we're bringing in Celebi, Pharaoh Thorn, bringing Swing Coon, Lincoln Rock for another round. Who knew that Lincoln Rock at the last half of this league, I'm actually using him. You know, fun fact, at the beginning of week one, when I drafted this guy, I was like, I'm not going to use him at all. But guess what? He clutched the W for your boy a couple weeks back. And then we got Cinderace. We're using him a lot. And then we got finally our boy Duraladon back from week two we finally got him back it's very it's such a good feeling even though I can't Gigantamax this week it is just a pleasure to have my boy back on the squad so hopefully my boy can clutch this for us and also here's a little quick team of uh, the Pennsylvania Pincers what we're gonna be faced off yes if you can see it uh, we have Mewtwo Mew we got the Dracovish we got a lot of threaty mons like Darmanitan and in terms of predictions I could see Mewtwo, I could see Mew coming in, Dracovish, I could see Tornadus coming in here doing some shenanigans, that is like 4 mons, maybe the Machamp, I don't know, uh, um, I could see Corvic Knight, maybe, or even a, like a sweep with Barbarical, eh, that's like a cut on rough estimate I'd, I'd say, but I feel like it's still, I could clutch this W, maybe, maybe, let's, let's see, let's see what Let's see what this battle has in store for us. So I don't want to take up any more time. So let's go ahead and get the battle started. My strategy is going to be a little bit different this week. So we're going to put some random music. And as always, I am going to be putting some gaming music or some, some other music that's not from this game uh, in the background. So also definitely go ahead and check out the producers who create that music in the description below and also uh, definitely go ahead and check out last week's battle with Kyogre Kawaii was just by far the most coolest battle in terms of music I, also everything else but like the music I feel like the, the setting of the music was just beyond perfect I don't know that, when I was editing it it was just like well it's not beyond perfect it's just like it felt like it the music fit with what was happening at the current time so it was funny so yes the nicknames are the same because I want to get a triumph with all the seven sins because I did unfortunately you know I kind of did fail last week so I feel like a little redemption time is ready so out of all the other out of all the sins that you see on the screen the only one that oh look see I, I predicted the team <laughs> oh my god <laughs> oh my god oh man <laughs> at least you didn't bring in the barbarical this is funny all right Ah, alrighty. So yeah, so if you see of all the sins, the only sin that I did not bring is Sloth. And Sloth is your boy for this week because he did kind of mess up last week. So let's see if we could do a redemption. So with all the seven sins all together, let's take on Shady. And I feel like if he sets, if he brings in the meal first, he could have the Stealth Rocks. But the Stealth Rocks has nothing on me. So I'm going to stick to my strategy that I did before when I was team prepping this and lead off with Pride. And just gonna U turn because I pretty much outspeed everyone except if he leads off with Dracovish or Darmanitan, I will swap into um, Envy, I believe. Envy or Wrath? I don't remember because it will be Choice Card for sure. So let's go ahead and do this. This is gonna be a fun one. It's gonna be a fun match. So let's go ahead and do this. Woo! Alright. So Shady, as always. Fantastic game card. Fantastic. Alrighty. So let's see what my boy leads off with. I wonder if he's going to think I lead off with the Feral Thorn. I honestly believe he thinks I will. Oh, yeah. See? He led off with Mew. And for that very reason, I feel like this would be the very best opportunity I have 
of Wow. Okay. Wait. Wait. Hold on. Oh. <laughs> oh, shoot. I wonder what's he going to do. Ah, oh, crap. Oh, my God. All right. I'm going to go into lust. <laughs> I don't. I, I don't. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, I'm going to go into Lust and hope for the best. Yep, he set up the Stealth Rock like I mentioned. He was going to set up the Stealth Rock. I should... You know what? <laughs> no, it's fine. It's fine. We're going to make it work. We're going to go and Calm Mine. And that that's all there is to it. Oh, you son of a gun. All right, I should have predicted the time. All right. Hmm. So the fact that he thinks he's got me in check, he could... I have a free shot of ball into anything and if I were him, I'd probably want to stay in but at the same time, I would want to go in a Corvic Knight and to get that initiative. But if he does switch into the Corvic Knight, I have a free shot of ball on whoever he wants to bring in. So it's not the worst thing in the world. So if he does go in a Corvic Knight, I just go in and on. <laughs> Fair play. But my gut's telling me to just shot a ball and let's go with the shadow ball and hopefully Oh, okay. All right. Just negate my... Dope. Dope. Negate me. All right, cool. Just going to get that Shadow Ball, and we're going to go ahead and do Celebi Fiends. Ooh. Red card? Lust? Huh. Hmm. Oh, okay. Now, this is very interesting. Does he have... Hmm... Hmm... Oh wait, what do you have? Natural Cure? Alright, we're just gonna go back into Lust. Cause why not? So I actually wasted a turn, but I want to see what else this guy has. He has Taunt, Will-O-Wisp, and I avoided the attack, and that is beautiful. That is a clean sweep. All right. So that's the best thing I could have done, you know? So I want to go for another Shadow Ball, because Shadow Ball, he doesn't know that much on my team, and I don't want him to know that much about my team either. So although Rat did take some chip damage, unfortunately, we can't really do much about it. And I'm not going to call mine this time. I'm just going to go for the fa Shadow Ball. He might think I'm going for the Taunt. Or he just goes for the Dazzling Gleam. Ah, jeez. Should have thought about that, too. Hmm. Oh, okay. Alright. So, if he's going to go ahead and do that... Hmm... I might want to go... I, I don't want to go ahead and... I don't want to go for the Calm Mind just yet because even if I Calm Mind, he he could easily go into Corvic Knight and that just would have been a waste of turn of a Calm Mind. So I'm just going to go ahead and for Shadow Ball. Yeah. I'll, I'll get the Natural Cure. Hopefully the Natural Cure just does it for me. And so Lust, you claim your first kill again. So thankfully, go ahead and kill the Mew. That gives rid of one of the biggest threats here. So if I were him... I will not bring in the Mewtwo unless the Mewtwo has Fire Blast or Shadow Ball himself. Or just go easily, go into the Corvic Knight and then think he's got me in check. But truth is, he don't. Alright. I know what I gotta do. I know what I gotta do. Ooh, actually, he could go into Tornadus. If I were him, I'd probably go into Tornadus and Corvic Knight. Hmm. If he does go into Tornadus, what should be my play? Should I go into Suicune? Or should I go into Derilodon? Yeah, that's a really good question. Hmm. I don't know. I, I want to say Derilodon has... Oh, actually, no, no, no. Why am I saying Derilodon? Derilodon is physically built. <laughs> I'm a dumb dumb. Tornadus? Ah, there you go. All right. So he's another Tornadus. I go into my boy. I feel like he might... He might think he's got me. But I really want to go into Envy. 
and Envy is just gonna do Envy stuff. So hopefully he doesn't have Thunderbolt. If he does have Thunderbolt, then kudos to him. I wonder what he's gonna do. He could go for Thunderbolt and predict that I go into Suicune, but all means I built the Suicune to take on hits and I actually didn't check if Tornadus got Thunderbolt or any of Grass Moose. Cause if he does, then I'm in a little bit of a pickle, but it's nothing too bad. Oh yeah, it's Hurricane. Did, did I miss? Oh, okay. 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 This is clay. <laughs> All right. All right. So let's see. Did I make sure that I have the right moves on everyone at least? <laughs> All right. Yeah. So I have every move that I need. So we're, I think it's safe enough to say that I can go for this ice beam. Yeah, I'm pretty safe just to go for the Ice Beam. So I'm just going to go for the Ice Beam. I really wish I could go for the sub. But the fact that Hurricane just one-shot... Actually, I don't even know if Hurricane will one-shot me. I'll just Ice Beam. Oh, he's just going to Hurricane. All right. You do you, fam. Ooh, that is a pickle. He's going to get a Life Orb. All right, just Ice Beam away. And let's do it, Suicune. Ooh. I, I don't like the way that... That damage did so if I were him I would definitely go ahead and swap out because Tornadus is life orb speedy and that gives me a good idea that this Tornadus is done because even if I do lose envy greed just beats it out speeds already did all the chip damage I need and I really wish I could keep a sweet coon for uh, let's see for his Darmanitan but I don't think that'd be the smartest play so I'm just gonna go ahead and take the ice beam. I think I should survive it. One more hurricane. I should survive one more hurricane. Oh, that was a crit. All right. You know, that's something that we can count for, but it is life orbed. And the fact that this thing is life orbed, I will definitely just pick up the KO with greed. Pride just, hmm, let's see. The fact that he, hmm. Okay, if he goes into Darmanitan, I wanna see, if he goes into, who would he go for, Linkin Rock? I wanna say he would probably go into Dracovish. All right, let's go into Greed and let's see if, if Greed can do what he, what he, we got do. So, Greed is probably the fastest Mon we have on the squad. I could have probably gone into... Yeah, I could have probably gone into Cinderace and definitely gone for the Sucker Punch, but I'd be risking it. And even if he decides to go ahead and paralyze me, it's fine. I want to say it's fine. Let me see. Ugh. Nah, I really... I, I don't think that would have been the smartest play. But I'm just going to go for the Stone Edge and hope for the best. All right, Stone Edge picks up the kill. Greed, you take out the Tornadus, and we are two months down. So let's go for four more. And if I were him, I'd probably go into Mewtwo. Mewtwo, or maybe even Corvic Knight. To be fair, Corvic Knight is just a tank on general. Okay, Dracovish. All right, perfect. You went into Dracovish, and I know what I switch into. So no problems. I go into Gluttony. And Gluttony, you do your job. He's going to hit me physically, but he could try to auto-swap me into... Maybe even Mewtwo. Maybe, I, I have a feeling that Mewtwo should have Flamethrower or Fire Blast. I, I'm not too certain. Maybe. Uh, uh, for Corvic Knight... Oh, Vicious Ren. Yes, beautiful. Oh, that's going to hurt, isn't it? Oh, oh man. Ooh, okay. Draco Vish. Yeah, okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and Thunder Wave this guy. So if I could take a hit. Oh, I didn't count for Draco Vish being able to just do that much damage. Ugh. All right. Yikes. Okay. So 
out of Dracovish, I don't remember its speed tier. So I'm going to look it up real quick. It is 75. It is 75. That's great to know. Gluttony. Thank goodness you came through for your boy. Gluttony, you did your good job. Uh, there's not really much I could have done for you. We're really in a pickle now. So I need you, buddy. So now the only mod I'm really afraid of is Darmanitan. Darmanitan, I just don't have enough firepower for that. So I should outspeed. He could keep it in. He could keep it in if he wants. But this, this Stone Itch is just going to do a good amount of damage. But now that Darmanitan is free to do whatever he wants. So that kind of sucks. But this Dracovish is really leaving me not really much with openings here. Because this Dracovish is a really big threat. So I take care of it. I think I kill it off. Yep, I take care of the Dracovish. And we get a second kill with my boy Greed. And that's what I love to see. So now he has one other option. And, and that is to bring... I want to say I wish he could bring in Corvic Knight. But he might bring in the Mewtwo. Yeah. See? So with that being said, I will go ahead and jump off into... Hmm. Okay. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go and jump him back into Lust. He might go for the sub. If he does... Hmm. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and swap out and go back into Lust. And I think Lust should be able to take a Shadow Ball. But on the off chance, he doesn't. Oh, Focus Blast. Oh. Oh, interesting. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see if I could take a hit. I want to go for the Shadow Ball. If I could get a Shadow Ball in, I can Sucker Punch my way. Ugh. Oh, okay, never mind. I can't stuck a punch my way in here. All right. Hmm. This is getting really tricky, guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and go with Pride, and I'm gonna bank it on Sucker Punch. I really, I really. <laughs> that's all I really can do at this point right now. So right now I'm going up against like three. Okay, one, two, three legendaries. And a pseudo legendary. <laughs> My odds are not looking good against me. So I'm gonna go for the sucker punch. And if he if it fails, it fails, but does it work? Okay, the sucker punch does work. Oh my god. Okay. So here here goes. The mind games if he has everything but moves so this is where is the pivot point I gotta get rid of the Mewtwo but on the off chance that he might actually go for focus blast wait what's wait give me a second what's Mewtwo's max speed Oh, it's 130. Okay. I'll go for the Sucker Punch. Dang. Dang. I was this close. Oh. 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 Okay. Wow. I should have listened to my gut. Alright. So this is... This is not over yet. This is not over yet. All right, I'm going to go for the sucker punch again. Because even if I do go for the acrobatics, I am better off with sucker punch. All right, so here goes nothing. I, I couldn't tell if he was choice scarfed or anything. 
So this is where I'm banking it on. That greed. That he's not choice scarfed and not jolly. Because if that's so. I technically just lost. But we'll see. Hopefully we don't. We can't. Oh. 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 Okay. All right, that is news for me. Dang, if I had if I had gone for acrobatics then in there, I would have saved uh, Cinderace. You see, hmm, hmm. All right, hmm. That is very close. I I get rid of the Mewtwo, so hopefully he brings in the Mewtwo. But if he goes into Corvic Knight, I got no other choice but go into my Duraludon. Hmm. That kind of does suck, but I had to go into Duraludon. All right, so Duraludon might be the seal, seal and grace of this whole entire squad. So that is uh, very frightening. So let's go, Wrath. Show him your power, my boy, Duraludon. I don't know what he might have, to be fair. I am max defense, max HP. It, it, it's a gamble here. Hmm. All right, Wrath. Do what you got to do, Wrath. I believe in you. He's going to go for the Iron Head. Oh, this should only do so much. And now here on out, I just go for the Thunderbolt. And that's it. Thunderbolt. Let's go. I do max damage. And that's... Oh. Yeah. All right. Just go for the Thunderbolt and then we sh as long as the Mewtwo ain't scarfed, which I believe it's not, I think we should just win. So check, I think this is checkmate. Not 200% confidence, but this is check. All right. Bye bye, Corvic Knight. And well, okay. Again, why oh, I gotta say, Dur I mean, Duraludon, I gotta say. Linker Rock Greed is our saving grace once again for another week and we clutched a W. So I believe this is check and Mewtwo is his fastest mon. He could be timid and I still outspeed it as long as it's not Choice Scarf, which earlier we seen that it was not because he switched between Psychic and some other move. But even then, I am still not guaranteed the W just yet. So I'm just going to go for the Dark Pulse and... Oh, he did have Fire Blast. Oh. Oh. Okay. All right, so here comes it. Here it goes. Here goes nothing. This is the final Mon. Jesus Christ. Okay, why is Greed picking up the kills here? He took care of... Uh, yeah, he got... Yeah, he got... If he kills here, he just claimed the most amount of kills. So here, yeah, greed claims the kill, takes out Mewtwo, and check mate Shady. All right, yo, that was such an amazing battle. Wow, that was down to the wire. <laughs> Compared to the team he had against me, he definitely had the upper hand. So with that being said, definitely go ahead check out my man, the Shady Past. The link to the video or to his side of the battle will be in the description below, as always. Definitely go ahead and check out this man's content and because he has been paired with Kyogre Kawaii Who's the one that defeated me last week? So definitely go ahead and check his channel out. He has amazing videos. So with that being said, this has been Gizmo GX and I'll see you at week 8 and Let's see if we can win a win against the second monkey aka Monkferno. So That's that. So with that being said, this has been Jill Gizmo, whichever you want to call me and I'll see you on the next week. Peace.